Well, I was sitting outside on the children and what happened when I turned my back, I see the house engulfing in flames. Et puis tout ce qui a brûlé, well, des noms viennent là qui a brûlé, qui a pris un bon bouton, qui a brûlé de l'eau, allez, oui. Mais ils deviennent trop forts, vent, qui a brûlé, vous savez, vent, qui a brûlé. Il fait qu'à brûler, si on nous a pour espérer un bilan sans vie. The anxiety of becoming homeless and dispossessed as a result of a fire and other natural and man-made hazards can feel overwhelming. Survivors of house fires confront uncertainties and endure tribulation. Poor and low-income households typically can't afford home insurance, making starting over after losing everything even more daunting. I end up losing passports, document paper and everything. No documents, nothing goes in. Furniture, everything, gone. The feeling is not good at all, at all. I'm feeling very bad on that. Poor and low-income households looking to rebuild their lives after a tragedy can depend on the Honorable Philip J. Peer administration for support. With the Peer-led administration, all hope is not lost. Prime Minister Peer immediately reinstated the Distress Support Fund after assuming office in 2021. The Prime Minister's empathy for citizens in distress inspired Taiwan to partner with the government of St. Lucia to re-establish the Distress Support Fund. We again doing our receiving a record of donation for the, the, the Distress Fund. And the Distress, the Distress Fund is an example of the philosophical position of this government. Uh, position that says that whereas people should insure their houses against natural disasters and against fires, everyone will not be able to insure their houses, no matter whether they, they, we know it's a necessity, but we will not be able to do it. And the distress fund is a philosophical position that says the government must step in and assist people who cannot insure their houses through the, the normal means because of the income levels or because they don't have security of tenor or something. And that is why the disaster fund is philosophically important. In 2023, Taiwan's contribution to the Distress Support Fund increased its annual allocation to a historic $1 million. On June 3, 2024, Taiwan Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Chen, handed over $800,000 the Distress Support Fund, ensuring St. Lucians in need can rely on the government for assistance with putting their lives back together. We wholeheartedly support the Distress Fund, reinstated by the St. Lucian government under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Fiji Jepier, which aims to care for the vulnerable and create a stable and secure home for all. What we hope to while we hope for favorable weather conditions, we must always be prepared. This is another critical function of this distress fund. With the government standing as a pillar of support, the people can confidently rebuild their homes. In the aftermath of unexpected disasters or tragedy. Reinstating the distress support fund demonstrates the peer administration's commitment to protecting the most vulnerable members of our society and assures the public that they can depend on the government for support when they need it most. Office of the Prime Minister